We ready? We're on? Got to be nice now. Can't be uh, saying bad things off the air like we do with radio stations. We never do that. No, we never do. Hey, folks. uh, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Glad you could be with us. If you're new to the show, welcome. Glad you could be here. What we're going to talk about today are early warning, surprising warning signs of cancer. And I'll explain why I'm doing that when we get into the show. Uh, But if you're new to the show, the way we do this is we do two 24-minute segments. So I will talk for 24 minutes. You, whatever platform you're on, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever, Twitch, Twitter, whatever on there, uh, if you have any health questions at all, please type them in. Joe, my producer behind the camera, will read me the questions at our 24-minute break, and I will answer them for you. Now, it's important that you do this because we need your questions because that makes the show. You drive the show. So if you have any questions whatsoever for you, your friends, your family, your loved ones, please type it in. Joe will read it to me. I'll share it with the audience. won't say your name. Don't worry. And then we'll go on and do another 24-minute segment, and then I'll answer more questions for you. So please uh, send in your questions. It's really important to make this show what it is. You, you're the ones that drive this, and we appreciate that. So if Joe is ready to start, I am ready to start. You ready, Joe? I'm ready. I don't know if this computer is or not. All right, let's see. Let's, I'll give Joe a hey, few seconds. it is today. It's working today. What a treat. I got a big clock behind the cameras there. That's why I look over there because I watch the clock. So you ready, Joe? Yeah. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. I'm so, so glad you could be with us today. What we're talking about today, and this is kind of a personal show today, I'm going to talk about the hidden warning signs of cancer, surprising signs of cancer. Now, it's not me, uh, but I lost my sister to breast cancer, and I lost my, my best friend not long ago to pancreatic cancer. And some of the warning signs uh, were there. And uh, unfortunately, many people ignore the warning signs because they think it's no big deal. Now, that being said, a lot of the signs we're going to talk about today can be, all of them actually, can be caused by something else. It doesn't have to be cancer. And in fact, a major, major majority of the time, these warning signs are not cancer. It's something else. But this is when you want to be proactive. And I, I talk about this, and if you're new to the show, I'm board certified in chiropractic, orthopedics, pain management, double board certified in nutrition, traumatic brain injury, uh, BS in nutrition, been in practice almost 38 years now. So we've got a very strong background in healthcare. We've treated thousands, I'm going to guess tens of thousands of patients. And many of them, most of them, major majority of them actually, come to us and they'll say, listen, I've been having this headache now for five years. And now you're finally getting it checked. Yeah, I thought it would go away. It's no big deal. I always say, don't be a taint nothing patient. Taint nothing. Like, add that taint nothing. Don't worry about it. So don't be a taint nothing patient because get it checked. The earlier you get to the doctor, whether it's neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, or cancer, the easier it is to treat the condition. The longer it's there, the more it kind of sets up shop, the harder it is. So the warning signs we're going to talk about, I'll tell you what they could be and then what to do about it. You don't necessarily have to run to an oncologist and say, do I have cancer? Do I have cancer? Let's start out a protocol. So I'm going to give you the step-by-step play what to do for each one of these symptoms so that you now have a plan. And that's the big issue that people don't have. They don't have a plan. Something comes up and they go, I don't know what to do about it. Well, I'll just ignore it. Not a good idea. So again, my friend Larry, my sister, we, I've lost two people. So right now, there's inflation, there's war, they're worrying about viruses, and so that other symptoms that come up, you may kind of push it to the back burner, and you may say it's really not that big a deal. But it's important not to ignore these symptoms that could be other serious health problems. And I always say, you think you got problems now? Ha oh, ha, it's going to get a lot worse if you don't fix these things. Approximately 40% of men and 39% of women in this country will battle cancer in their lifetimes. Wow. I didn't realize the number was that high, 40% essentially for men and women. And that's according to the American Cancer Society. Given those odds and the fact that the disease becomes exponentially more difficult to treat, the longer it's there, it's critical that we spot these early warning signs as soon as they appear and then act on them. Now, there is no 100% diagnosis. There's no 100% cure. And not everything is 100% fatal. But we want to, get to the, want to get it checked as early as possible just to increase your odds. Now, every cancer has its own specific symptoms, but a lot of them share similar symptoms. The only problem is that these symptoms are not specific to cancer. They can appear uh, under the guise of a bunch of other things, infections, back pain, neck pain, headaches. It can be other different things. So in order to help you get educated on these early warning signs in honor of my family members, I've compiled this list of common cancer warning symptoms. 
So, headaches. Number one cause of headaches, by far, is pinched nerves. And chiropractic care is the most effective, least expensive treatment for back pain, and I include headaches into that. So if we have a treatment that's the most effective, least expensive, why wouldn't you go that route? Even if it was the most effective, most expensive, you should go that route. And here it is, the most effective, least expensive. It's the best of all worlds. So with chi- headaches, chiropractic care should be your primary thought. Let me get to the chiropractor. Let me get that checked. Now, it could be a sign of a brain tumor. It could be a sign of cancer of the spinal cord, and that's according to American uh, Cancer Society. But other brain symptoms to look out for, aside from just headaches, is when you lose power or sensation in some part of your body. Now, I'm walking around. All of a sudden, I can't lift my left arm. That's an issue. We need to get that checked. Now, if it's a ruptured disc, it usually causes pain, shooting pain into the arm, and then the arm gets weak. So that would be a ruptured disc from the spine. If it's a brain issue, suddenly I just can't move my left arm. Something more serious to get checked out. So we can get you an MRI. We can get a CAT scan if we need to, get you to a neurologist, and let's find out where the issues are coming from. Most of the causes, like I said, are pinched nerves. Another cause of headaches is food. Food triggers a lot of headaches in a lot of people. Now, the big foods to watch out for, caffeine and caffeine withdrawal. Kind of interesting. Taking caffeine can cause headaches. Like in my case, I get headaches. Or if you start to cut out your caffeine, you can get a headache as well. Monosodium glutamate, MSG. In my first book that I wrote, Eating Right for the Health of It, it's on our website, drjoe.com, we talk about different names for monosodium glutamate. There's 40 different names that I found, and this is years ago, for monosodium glutamate. Autolyzed yeast, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, natural flavor could be monosodium glutamate. So let's look at where we're going to get monosodium glutamate from. Processed foods, packaged foods, chips, uh, seasoned foods uh, that are packaged, because what happens is we add monosodium glutamate to it as a flavor enhancer. It stimulates the taste buds on your tongue called umami taste buds. Yes, that's a word, umami. And umami taste buds get stimulated by monosodium glutamate, so it makes the food taste richer and more savory. And so monosodium glutamate is used a lot because it's cheap and it really makes you want more of that food. But it can cause headaches. I am very sensitive to monosodium glutamate. Chinese food, sometimes I get a headache, but not as much, but Thai food. Thai food, many times they use fish sauce, and fish sauce has MSG in it. So for two reasons, you don't want to do fish sauce. A, it's fish, and B, it's monosodium glutamate. So if you go to a Thai restaurant, you want to say no MSG, no fish sauce. Now, here's the thing. I get lied to. I know I'm the first man that's ever been lied to. I get lied to. No, no MSG, no fish sauce. Don't worry about it. I eat it. Boom, blazing headache, and I know there's fish sauce in it. Well, sometimes the fish sauce is already mixed in their sauces, and they don't say it. Or the servers don't even know. They'll tell, the, they'll tell the chef, who may not even speak English, any fish sauce in this? No, nah, there's no fish sauce. Don't worry about it. Well, they don't care. They don't realize how serious a statement that is. So just be careful with MSG. Also, uh, artificial sweetener, aspartame. Aspartame has aspartic acid in it, and aspartic acid can cause headaches. So just a plain old headache. Let's start out basic chiropractic care. Come in to see us. We'll do nutrition evaluation with you as well. And let's find out what might be causing these headaches. If for some reason we don't get to the cause, we can always what we call escalate the care. We can send you out for other treatments, MRIs, CAT scans, neurologists, neurosurgeons, and then we can escalate the care. But there's no sense in running to a neurologist right away if it's simply a headache. Now, you lose vision in one eye, uh, you, you, your face droops, you're paralyzed on one side of your fa- body, that could be a stroke. Then we've got to get a little nervous. But just generally getting headaches, many times my team of doctors can get to that. And so it's probably not cancer. So what we're talking about today, if you're just joining us, is surprising warning signs of cancer. And what else could it be? Now, unusual fatigue. It's perfectly normal to get tired. Okay, you had a rough day. It's a Friday. You're exhausted. It's not normal to be tired for no discernible reason. I cannot figure out why I'm tired. I'm eating right. I'm exercising. I'm, I'm, I'm getting plenty of sleep. Why am I so tired all the time? When that's the case... Uh, that can be a, a, a serious sign. You're just exhausted all the time. If your fatigue is getting uh, in the way of your everyday life, take a look. C- come see us. Now, we all get tired. We all get older. We all get older we get tired. So what I do is I avoid what's called the seven deadly sins of nutrition. Now, if you're new to the show, that's alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. 
And if you're new to the show, you said what everyone says the first time they tune in. Oh my God, that's my whole diet. I can't survive without alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. Uh, yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, if you go to our website, drjoe.com, and type in Seven Deadly Sins in Nutrition, there's a lecture I did several years ago out in California, and I talk about the Seven Deadly Sins. There's a follow-up lecture to that called, So What Can I Eat? And that tells you what you can eat. Because you're thinking, I can't eat anything if I can't eat that. It's plenty of food to eat. Don't worry about it. Supplement-wise, people say, Dr. Joe, what supplements can I take to give me more energy? The minimum supplements everybody should be taking are Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. They taste great. That's your starting point. When it comes to energy, I would add nitric oxide. Unless you have low blood pressure, nitric oxide is amazing. Don't take it if you have low blood pressure. B-complex and adrenal support. So if you take Super Greens Essential Source, nitric oxide, B-complex, and adrenal support, chances are you're going to be feeling pretty good. Now, if you do that and you're still exhausted all the time, then we got to dig a little deeper. But look at your diet. You drink enough water. You're getting enough sleep. You're eating fatty foods. Fatty foods like meats, dairy products, fried foods, they clump your red blood cells together. And when red blood cells clump together, they can't carry oxygen. You get tired. So don't think, oh, gosh, I had a pepperoni pizza and I'm tired. It must be cancer. No, you had a pepperoni pizza. Try having a salad for three days in a row and see how you feel. Then if it's an issue, then we can dig a little deeper. Okay? Night sweats can be a sign of something bad or could be a sign of menopause. could be a sign of hypothalamus issue. could be a sign of thyroid issues. Many things can cause it. If you have nightmares, if you have low blood sugar, uh, there's something called uh, nocturnal low blood sugar, um, hypo... Uh, 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 and what happens is you don't eat and your blood sugar drops and you get tired. Okay, so that could be, uh, it's called nocturnal hypoglycemia. It took me a second. Nocturnal hypo hypoglycemia is you wake up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and you're starving. Well, normally I say don't eat after 4 or 5 o'clock at night. Some people, if you have this nocturnal hypoglycemia, you might want to have a little snack before you go to bed. Something healthy, a piece of fruit. Uh, you know, some vegetables, maybe a handful of nuts. Don't go eat an ice cream or anything like that. But these all are things that can cause night sweats. But it's a, one of those nonspecific signs that can signify a lot of different things. So if your night sweats occur in a combination with other symptoms that we're talking about, you might want to bring it to your doctor's attention. Hey, what do we do about this? And the nice part is we have so much amazing technology that we can scan and test, we can do blood work, we can do CAT scans, MRIs, and many times we can find them early on. There's even low-level low MRIs, like a company called Virtual Imaging, where they do a low-level uh, CAT scan, basically, and they can scan the body as well. So there's lots of th different things we can do. We don't have to jump to conclusions. Caution. That's all I'm asking. Just be a little careful there. If you have lymph node swelling, I get this several times a week in our office. Patients will say, well, Doc, look at my neck. I got this swelling right here. Usually, it's a lymph node. Now, lymph nodes are all throughout your neck. They're under your armpits or in your groin area. And lymph nodes are filters. They filter out junk. So if you have the flu and you get swollen glands, you have a cold, that's the lymph glands filtering out dead viruses, germs, bacteria, and they just swell up. Eventually, they clean themselves out, and you're fine. So with lymph nodes, if you have a swelling, there's two different ways to look at it or to check it. Number one, if it's soft and painful, it's sore when you squeeze it, you're probably fine. Now, I'm not saying you are fine, probably fine. If you find that it's hard, like a little lentil or a pea, and you squeeze it and it's just hard and has no pain to it, you might want to get that one checked. That's something we have to be more concerned about. So if you're just joining us, folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. What we're talking about today are surprising signs of cancer, early signs detection, when you might want to say, okay, you know what, I think I need to get this one checked. So if you do have issues, if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches, these could all be signs of many different things. But by far, the most common cause is pinched nerves. And my team of doctors in the Atlanta area, my team of doctors works in uh, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We're really good at getting people out of pain. In fact, that's our specialty. So if you want to treat it non-surgical, non-drugs, very safe, very effective, again, no promises or guarantees, but generally speaking, uh, come see us. You can make an appointment right on our website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. You can call us, 844-44-DR-JOE, uh, and we can get you an appointment right away. <clears throat> we can usually get you an appointment within 24 hours, and we accept almost all insurances, car accidents, sports injuries. With car accidents, if you're ever in an accident, even if you cause the accident, 
If the car is damaged, you're damaged. You need to come see us immediately. The longer you wait, scar tissue starts to form. Uh, you, you can tear the muscles and ligaments. If scar tissue forms, it's really hard to break up that scar tissue and put the bones back in place. So you want to get it back in place while everything's still pliable. So drjoe.com, normally the first visit is $712 for our listeners. We've reduced that to $299. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment, the next visit going over the x-rays, and a complete nutrition evaluation. My team of doctors and I would love to be your doctor. So if you have a health issue, come see us. DrJoe.com will get you an appointment right away. Other signs and symptoms that you might have cancer. And again, might is the key word here. Do not jump to conclusions. Chances are, you know, there's a line from a, a, a song from a War of the Worlds narrated by Richard Burton, and it's called Forever Autumn. And right before that, the song is, the chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one, they say. Okay, so the chances of this being cancer are very, very high. However, and then the next line is, the chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one, but still they come. So it could be an issue, but chances are slight. But that's why we want to check it bef- you know, before it becomes a big issue. If you have moles, and this is important, folks, monitor this. I know I, I used to date a gal years ago, and I have a mole on my leg, and I've had it there since I was in high school. And she insisted. She went nuts. You've got to get that checked. You've got to get that. So I finally went and got it checked. The doctor said, has it changed at all? No. Is it rough edges? No. Does it bleed? No. Does it itch? No. He says, you're fine. But she made me go. And that was a good thing. It was a, I, I did, she did exactly what I should have done. But skin cancer is present. Many times the moles change shape or color, and they start to itch or bleed. Now, a melanoma growth, skin cancer, oftentimes are asymmetrical have irregular borders, which means around the outside is kind of jagged, and they may be multiple colors. So when inspecting a mole, follow the American Cancer Society's A, B, C, D, E rule, which means look for asymmetry, irregular border, again, it just isn't shaped right, color or diameter, and any mole that's evolving. What they mean by evolving is it's changing its shape. So if you have that, good idea to get it checked. The nice part about skin cancer is many times it's very easy to treat. It can be cut out and you're done. Now, We did a show on cancer. It's on our website, drjoe.com. So these are just looking for signs. But the cancer show goes a little more in depth as to what to look for, things you can be proactive about. Uh, And Just go to our website, drjoe.com. Type in the word cancer. Listen to the show. On that website, we have over 3,000 hours of podcasts. So chances are we've done a podcast or a show about what you're looking for. So you can just type in the word, search the website. If you have any questions... You can always send them to me through the website, drjoe.com. A little bot pops up and says, hi, want to chat? Uh, Feel free to send us a message, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Make sure you put your email address in, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can with your answer. So if you can't get to us right away, um, send the email or just call us. We want to be your doctors. We're very accessible. And the nice part is that it's a great source. The website's a great source of finding information, a resource, I should say, of finding information. So you can search it yourself. If you don't find what you want, send us questions. Another issue, and this could be diabetes, it could be cancer, it could be your your own metabolic makeup. According to the Cleveland Clinic, an estimated 40 to 50% of fair-skinned people who live to the age of 65 will develop skin cancer in their lifetime. So if you're fair-skinned and over 65 years old, you have a 50-50 shot of developing skin cancer. Fortunately, due to disease's topical nature, It's often recognized and can be treated right away. I can't see bone cancer. I can't see prostate cancer. I can see a mole that's changing shape and itching and bleeding. So that's that's why it's usually easy to treat. So what you should look out for when it comes to skin cancer, okay? Cuts, sores, or blemishes that do not heal or only partially heal. This can become an issue. If that's the case, you want to get that checked out. Even if your sore is painless, head to the doctor's office and let them take a look at it. It should heal within a week or so. Now, some people heal a little slower. I've had mosquito bites that for some reason just won't heal because I scratch them all the time because they itch like a son of a gun. So that could be signs too. But once again, this is a puzzle. Healthcare is a puzzle. And my doctors and I are really good uh, Sherlock Holmeses of healthcare. We get to put the puzzle pieces together and try to find out what's causing it and then what to do about it. So sores that don't heal, sometimes it's diabetes as well, especially leg sores. Um, That could be a sign of diabetes. And once again, go to your doctor and get it checked. If you have diabetes, go to our website, drjoe.com, and type in the word diabetes. And we did a really good show on diabetes not long ago. 
And any topic you're looking for, search the website. There's a very good chance we've done shows on it or articles for it. So we're talking today, again, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. What we're talking about today are surprising signs of cancer. Now, again, chances are very, very small that it really is cancer. But if you have these signs, you know what direction to go in. Fever. Many diseases and infections, most cancers can lead to fever at some point. And according to American Cancer Society, certain cancers like leukemia and lymphoma can cause fevers even in their early stages. So these fevers can often recurrent. So if a fever lasts for more than three days and continuously coming back over a period of weeks, it's probably a good idea to get it checked. Now, a lot of people, you know, we think fever right away. We think coronavirus. Eh, could be. So fever doesn't necessarily mean it's cancer, but if you have recurring fevers, last three or four days at a time, time to go get it checked. This is a big one, yellow-tinted skin. And this is what we found with my friend Larry. He came to my office one day, and he was yellow. He was bright yellow, like, 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 a, like a road sign. Something's wrong, I said to Larry. Something I'm reading a book. Nah, I'm fine. No, go get it checked. So we got him to a medical doctor. They thought it was his liver. They did a procedure on his gallbladder to try to open up the bile duct. They thought it was a bile duct occlusion. It wasn't the bile duct occlusion. Uh, they finally went ahead and did some more tests at my screaming and yelling. And sure enough, they found a, pan- a tumor in his, pancre- in his pancreas. So if a patient presents with yellowing of the eyes and the skin, it's either liver or pancreas. So yellowing of the skin is something you want to be concerned with. Now, you can go jaundice and not have cancer. It's not a definitive diagnosis, but it's a good idea to get it checked. Most of the time, the liver is involved with jaundice. Okay, it's a bile issue. So the pancreas, what happened with my friend, the tumor was pushing against his bile duct in his liver, and so the liver then created the jaundice. But the cause of it was the pancreatic cancer tumor in in, in the head of his pancreas. So if you see yellow, it's a good idea to go get checked. And if it's a liver issue, uh, doctors many times will give you medications, but liver issues are almost always due to nutrition issues. Your liver is a filter. And you put junk in the filter, the filter gets clogged up, it can't detoxify properly, and so the jaundice then come, the toxins come out through the skin. Uh, and that's the yellowish. But that's why I say whenever I see a skin issue, I think of liver. I have somebody very dear to me who has uh, had acne. And so I said, let's get you on some liver supplements and see what happens. She eats right. She's vegetarian. She's vegan, actually. Uh, she eats right, drinks a lot of water, exercises, and we couldn't figure this one out. So I said, let's get you on some liver supplements. Uh, we got her on something called Livton, which is from Standard Process. It's not a Dr. Joe product, but we use another company for other products. And we got her on glutathione, super greens, and essential source. And within days, her skin cleared up. So whenever I see skin issues, I'm always thinking liver. If I see jaundice, I'm always thinking liver. But what caused the liver? And that's what I was trying to do is get to the cause of the problem, not just treat the symptoms. Just like pain. I, you have pain. I believe you have pain. Why do you have pain? Well, I took some acetaminophen. It got better. No, it didn't get better. It covered up the pain. What caused the pain? And that's what we do in our offices. We try to get to the cause of the problems and not just treat the symptoms. And that's what makes us different than a lot of other doctors. I love working with other doctors. We get referrals from doctors all the time. Doctors are patients of ours. We're patients of theirs. So we all work together to help the patient. And it's kind of a, I was just talking to one of my doctors, Dr. Irwin, this week about that's really old school health care doesn't really exist that much anymore. Right now, you go in, you get treated, you get a lot of drugs, you get a lot of treatments, the bill is crazy, your insurance denies most of it, you get stuck paying it, you get stressed, you have a heart attack, and you die. I mean, it really can be like that, and I've seen it happen. So we're kind of old school. We try to get to the cause of the problem, co-manage the case with as many doctors as necessary, and then get the patient well. Because I look at every patient that comes in, I want them as a lifetime patient. I don't like going out getting new patients. I'd rather have lifetime patients. Most of healthcare kind of works the other way. Well, there's enough sick people out there. We'll just keep burning and churning. We do it differently. So if you do want to make an appointment, drjoe.com. We'd love to see you as a patient. And we have offices in Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Hey, listen, if you like what you're hearing, go to our website. We have over 3,000 hours of podcasts. And also, type in your, uh, your uh, search engine that you use, whatever podcast search, search engine you use, and just type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it. And we have uh, hundreds of hours on that service as well. So there's lots of information out there uh, that I'm uh, happy to share with you. And we don't charge for any of these podcasts either. So it's all no charge. 
Uh, and if you want to make an appointment, just do it right online, drjoe.com. And if you have questions, send them to me through the website, drjoe.com, and I will answer them for you. Now, we're talking today about signs and symptoms that could be cancer, surprising ones. So we got to go to break real soon. Coming up, dizziness. And there's a lot of things that can cause dizziness. A lot of you have that. We're going to talk about digestion, urination, stomach pain, heartburn. So many of these things don't have to be cancer, but we want to check it out. And our website again, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. We'll be right back. Any questions for part uno? We do have some questions here. Uh, this one's an important question. Uh, how do we know the date and time changes for the live podcast? We don't know that yet. Okay, right now we're trying to do it at 1 o'clock um, on Mondays because I'm covering my West Cobb office. Uh, I do have two interviews today as a matter of – well, tomorrow uh, with some new doctors. So once we get new doctors in, we'll be able to set up a regular time. Unfortunately, I have to cover the West Cobb practice right now, and so that was when I did my podcast. So we're working on that. Trust me, it's, we're, we're very aware of it. Um, but we have to get quality doctors. I don't want to hire somebody who I don't like and who you wouldn't like. So I have to trust them, and that takes time to find a good relationship with trust. And at the moment, if you have subscribed to the newsletter, there's a little note in there of when our next podcast will be. So today it said Monday at 1, and here we are. Yes, and if you follow us on social media, at Dr. Joe Esposito, um, we have sent posts out, right, Joe? We send an announcements? Uh, today we did not send for this. We didn't one. send an announcement it today, was not Joe. Scheduled for today. What happened? <sighs> Men. What are we gonna do with them? All right. Next question. Next question. What can you do about Hashimoto's? Uh, go to our website, drjoe.com. Type in the word thyroid. Listen to the show on thyroid. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease, so we have to calm down the immune system. So we have to uh, right away cut out wheat and dairy products. Those are the two things you have to cut out right away with Hashimoto's. Uh, listen to the show. I would recommend Super Greens and Essential Source because they have iodine in them. And many of you with thyroid issues, in fact, all of us, need more iodine in our diet. And Super Greens and Essential Source are a great source of iodine. So, but listen to the show on thyroid. If you have any questions after that, then send me a message. But it's like a two-hour lecture. I don't want to give it right now because we have other things to talk about today. So, Okay, what else we got? Are clothes with polyethylene fabric safe to wear? I would wash them um, the best you can, and that's going to be your best shot. Uh, cotton is the best. Cotton polyester is probably your next best. Um, and, again, with polyethylene, I think if you wash it once or twice, I think you should be okay with it. I don't have a problem with that. What else? Yeah, it kind of depends on your job, too. If, if you're dealing with heat sources, I wouldn't wear oil. That's a good point. Yeah, Joe makes a good point there. Yeah, if you're if you're working in a sweatshop or, or electrician, you, electrician. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Flash good. art could didn't think about melt that. your clothes to you. Good point. That's why Joe gets paid the big bucks. What else? All right, the super greens with hemp is this void of all THC. It has seeds, so it makes the drink crunchy. Yes, I like the seeds actually. I don't. I don't I'm a, it has like point, what was it, Joe, 0024 or something like that? It was a very tiny number. Extremely low number of THC. So no one has ever had a reaction to taking it. No one gets high from it. Now, it's pro, it, it, according to our manufacturers and our scientists and our researchers, they say that it's not enough to even show up on a urine test. That being said, we can't say it has zero THC because it has a tiny, tiny, tiny bit just naturally occurring in the hemp. So. Uh, if you're concerned about that, we have the rice protein and we have the Dr. Joe's uh, mint with rice protein as well. So if that's a concern, don't do the hemp, although it's never been a concern for anybody. And it's my favorite flavor. So, Yeah, it was like three thousandths of a percent or something. Oh, yeah, whatever like it was. Yeah, we had the chemist look it up for us. Pull it up. Now, are we talking about, Joe, are we going to get some, if, if the hemp takes off like I think it is, we're going to do maybe a mint hemp as well? Yeah, it's, it seems like that's going to be yeah, a popular we, I've thing. gotten several requests for that already, so okay. Oh, four parts per million. Four parts per million of THC. So, so pretty minor. Four, four that, uh, that's 10,000 of a percent. Okay. So basically, basically no, but, yeah. or statistically no. Statistically no, yes, but there is a tiny bit. So. All right, we have a question about, see, I have experienced what 
feels like a blood pressure cuff sensation in my left upper arm for about two months and I uh, have pain on the left side of my neck and have scoliosis. Any ideas? Probably a pinch nerve. I'm going to guess that that's a pinch nerve with the scoliosis, the neck shooting down into the arm. Uh, we've seen hundreds, probably thousands of cases like that. So for that, you want to come see us. That's not one I could advise you over the air. That's a physical thing that we need to see. So just go to drjoe.com or call us right now, 844-44-DR-JOE. We'll get that set up for you right away. Don't wait. As we're talking about today, don't wait. Get it fixed right away. So. All right. The uh, follow-up with the hemp that says they have a family member that drives a government vehicle. Right. Um, I know the military uh, prohibits ingesting any hemp product regardless of it's THC content. I don't know uh, about the rest of the government. Yeah. Though, so, so if that's might... the case, just just do the rice protein. I mean, it's uh, don't don't stress it. Just do the rice protein one. That's fine. What else? Uh, that looks like it for the moment. Okay, good. <clears throat> oh, by the way, if you're listening right now, uh, if you would type in hashtag live. Do that right now. Hashtag live. If you're listening to this on a, a, a re-recording, type in hashtag replay. And this way, the bots out there can find us. So, that's in my reminder notes out there, so I remember that. I happen to remember it. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. Hey, folks. Dr. Joe Esposito here. I'm glad you're there because that means we get to spend some time together. So, what we're talking about today are surprising warning signs of cancer. And the reason I'm doing this show is I lost my sister to cancer several years ago. And I recently lost my best friend, Larry, to cancer. And you got to look for these early warning signs because the earlier we get to it, the easier it is to fix. So don't be, a, I said earlier, a taint nothing patient. Ah, eh, taint nothing. Don't worry about it. No, it is something. So if you have any of these symptoms, you want to come see us or you want to see somebody and just get it checked just to be sure. I love it when I send a patient out for an MRI and the tests come back negative. I think that's great. Because that means we know what it's not. I had a patient call in one of my shows. I do live shows. I do a lot of shows. And one of the shows called in. And he said, Doc, I have stomach issues. I've had endoscopes. I made me swallow a camera. Um, I've had MRIs, CAT scans. Nothing showing up. What do you think it is? I said, we know what it's not. And that makes my job a lot easier. It's not cancer. It's not a tumor. It's not a ruptured you know, blood vessel somewhere in your stomach. So what it usually means is that the stomach, in his case, was pushed up against the diaphragm. And my team of doctors and I can actually adjust or pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. And it's amazing in most cases. If you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, physically moving the stomach is amazing. So I've had many, many patients, countless over the years, come to us, been to gastroenterologist, come to us, we fix their stomach, they go back to the enterologist, gastroenterologist, and the doctor says, I don't know what you did, but everything's better now. And so a lot of those doctors eventually become referrers to us. They start sending patients in. I uh, had a patient just recently. She, had, uh, she came to us with 32% kidney function. The doctors basically said, it's your death warrant. There's nothing we can do about it. Get you on a list for a kidney failure, a kidney transplant. But the chances aren't very good you're going to get one. Well, she just had her test done recently. I think she's been out care for a year or two now. And her kidney function went from 32% to 50%, which is unheard of. Can't be done. And yet hers is getting better. So needless to say, her doctors are pretty impressed with what we're doing too. So, so again, you don't, think of, don't think of our chiropractic clinics as just back pain. We're good at getting the body healthy, which is kind of neat. So a lot of times you have symptoms and you don't know what it is. Don't freak out. The chances are very, very small that it's going to be cancer. Chances are very, very high that it's something that's treatable. So dizziness, if you feel dizzy to the point you can't function properly, you need to see a doctor right away. Cancer can affect the brain that can cause neurological symptoms like dizziness and passing out. The most common cause of dizziness by far is cerebellar issues. Cerebellum is the back part of your brain or the inner ear. You've got canals in your inner ear. And there are certain techniques we can do where sometimes crystals, actually like salt crystals, will form in the, uh, in the canal in the ear. And it's a technique we can use to actually reset those crystals, which works pretty well. Uh, and then also, if it's a cerebellar issue, the back of the brain, not getting enough stimulation, there are special adjustments and techniques my doctors and I know to try to stimulate that part of the brain and get the patient balanced. In fact, I had to go in the room the other day with one of our patients. She insisted on seeing me. 
and which is silly because my doctors, all my doctors are amazing and probably better doctors than I am. But I had to go in a room and my doctor, was it Dr. Cat, Dr. Irwin? Anyway, I remember. And they told the patient what we needed to do to stimulate the cerebellum. No, I have to talk to Dr. Joe. I walk in, told him exactly what the doctor said. And they said, oh, okay, thank you. And then Dr. Cat, whatever, Irwin, whatever it was, went ahead and did it and it was fine. So there are ways to reset the cerebellum and the inner ear, and that's the most common cause of dizziness. Now, it could be medication, it could be uh, fatigue, it could be dehydration. All of these can cause uh, dizziness, but in severe cases, again, if we can't get it fixed, we can always send you out for a referral, and that's the nice part. We can always work with you on that. Now, we're not perfect. Nobody in the healthcare field is perfect, so don't get too upset with any of your doctors, all of us are trying the best we can to get you well. None of us are maliciously trying to get you sick. I read these headlines, you know, doctor's secret uh, to losing weight, doctor's secret to health, doctor's secret to longevity. You know, folks, we don't have some sorority fraternity where we sit around and go, we have the magic potion and we're not going to share it. No, we don't do that. There are no secrets out there. Now, some doctors are better trained than others. I like to think of my doctors as being some of the best in the world. So we can be better trained than others, but it's not like there's a conspiracy that doctors are holding out on you. So other things we have to look at when it comes to cancer, and this is a biggie, and it's change in your bowel function. Colon cancer can cause abnormal bowel movements uh, or even dark stools. Unfortunately, there's one of the, uh, this is one of the subjects patients are less likely to talk about with their doctor. Nobody wants to talk about their bathroom habits. But according to the Mayo Clinic, most colon cancers do not begin to show symptoms until later stages, making it very important that you talk to your doctor about suspicions. If you have blood in your stools, it could be a hemorrhoid. It could be that you wipe too hard. If the blood, if it looks like scabs, dark red, like scabby color, that's usually bleeding in the upper part of the colon. Um, so if you have change in your bowel function, it's a good idea to discuss it with your doctor and let's see if we can get it normalized. If we can't, we can always get it checked. Now, again, my team of doctors are really good at checking the nerve supply in the low back because that controls the bowels. It could be the stomach pushed up against the diaphragm. It could be an ileocecal valve, which is the valve between your small and large intestine. We may have to adjust that. We may have to get you on supplements. We have a great supplement called Dr. Joe's Intestinal Formula, and it's for people with constipation. Very gentle, and it really gets the bowels tr working normally again. But I don't want you taking that supplement for a long time. All the other supplements I talk about, I want you taking forever. The intestinal formula, I don't, because I want to get to the cause of your constipation, not just treat the symptoms. The other ones are supplements to supplement your diet. This one actually helps to get the body functioning normally until we can get to the cause. And that's on the website, drjoe.com. Now, I've had this happen many times in my career. People come in, Dr. Joe, oh my God, I'm bleeding to death. Okay, what'd you eat yesterday? If you had beets, red beets, you may have redness in your stool. You're not bleeding, it's the beets. So think about that too. If you have redness in the toilet, all of a sudden you're freaking out. Oh gosh, I had red beets last night for dinner. Let's wait a day, let's see if it's still there. Don't get nervous about that. Uh, and again, intestinal formula will get things moving along too. And sometimes when we do intestinal formula, it changes your bowel function because food has been laying in your colon and rotten for who knows how long. Many times we start cleaning out the guts. If I put you on a liver supplement, things like Livton, glutathione, that can change your bowel habits too because the liver starts to detoxify. And so you may have a gold color to your bowels, to your bowel movements until for a day or two until it stabilizes. So again, changes in bowel movements, uh, we all have it every day. Things change, but when it's an issue, that's when we have, when it becomes a regular issue, then we have to worry about it. Same thing with urination. Uh, you can discover bladder cancer. It swiftly affects the urinary tract. You know, bloody urine, that's always a warning sign. Get that checked. The disease can cause frequent urination, burning sensation on urination, weak stream, and that's according to John Hopkins University. Uh, if left unchecked, cancer can eventually lead to completely inability. You, you become uh, unable to urinate at all, and this is uh, pretty serious. So it's critical you see a doctor sooner rather than later, especially if you see blood in the urine. Now, as men get older, many times we don't urinate as strong as we used to. Our urinary stream isn't as strong as it used to be. The prostate is going to swell on us. It happens to everybody as far as I know. Um, so don't be too concerned about that. But if you start seeing blood in the urine, painful urination, eh, now we got to be a little concerned. Okay. And again, most of the time it's nothing, which is nice. So don't get nervous until 
you have to get nervous. I always teach my doctors, it's never a problem until it's a problem. And then it's a problem. So it's never, an urge, it's never urgent until it's urgent. So don't freak out about it. You know what? I have a little blood in my urine. Let me go check out what that is. Maybe it's a urinary tract infection. Maybe you passed a kidney stone. Uh, there's other reasons that can cause blood in the urine. But always get it checked. And just to make sure. So if you're just joining us, folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. What we're talking about today are surprising warning signs of cancer. Now, if you have any questions, not just about this, because many times around this time of the show, people say, Dr. Joe, you seem pretty smart. I have a question unrelated to this. Send it to us through the website, drjoe.com, D-R-J-O-E.com, and myself or Joe, uh, my producer over here, will go ahead and get back to you as soon as we possibly can uh, with an answer. If we don't know the answer, we're going to say, you know what, I don't know that answer. But this is where you should go. This will be your source of getting more information. So if you have an issue, come see us, drjoe.com. In the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb, and we would love to be your doctors. We can usually get your appointment as soon as 24 to 48 hours. Uh, normally, the first visit is $712. We've reduced that for our listeners to $299. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment. Going over the x-rays on a follow-up visit, complete nutrition evaluation, our plan, and that's the deal of a lifetime, folks. You're not going to get x-rays for $299 anywhere else, much less all of that. So if you're serious about wanting to get well, drjoe.com. Now, two rules. If you make an appointment, you need to show up. We are booked very solid, and my doctors are very much in demand. People, several of the doctors, people will line up outside the office to get in, so they just love their doctors. Now, if you book an appointment, you don't show up. You just took an hour's worth of time away from other patients. You took the doctor away for an hour. You took the staff away for an hour. You tied up a room for an hour. We reserve all that for you. We're assuming you're going to show up. We're trusting you. Maybe that's silly on our part, but please show up or at least call us so that we know we can change the schedule. And then number two, if you're not serious about wanting to get well, don't make an appointment. And I have patients come in all the time, every week, several times a week, and they'll say, you know what, Dr. Joe, I've heard you say, if you're not ready to get well, don't make an appointment. I haven't been ready to get well until now. Now I'm serious. Because again, we're busy and we want to reserve the time for patients that are serious about wanting to get their health care taken care of. We're happy to see you. We'd love to see you. But please show respect. That's all I ask. Because it, 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 it comes around, trust me. So if you want to make an appointment, drjoe.com. You can do it right online. We accept almost every insurance out there. If you're ever in a car accident, ever, if the car is damaged, you're damaged. I've never seen it any other way. And every week, multiple patients come in and say, Dr. Joe, I heard you say on your show, if the car is damaged, you're damaged. My car was damaged. I just uh, had somebody I work with come to me the other day and say, take a look at this car. And it was a car, it smacked pretty bad. He says, do I need to come see you? I said, yes, absolutely. And he said, well, I don't have, I have just a little bit of pain. And we found a lot of problems on it. So you want to make that appointment right away, drjoe.com. For children as well, we can get children as soon as they're born. They've got to be out of the womb. That's my rule. But we can see children as soon as they're born because if they start out healthy, they usually grow healthy. If they're crooked, they grow crooked. So drjoe.com, great place to go. All right, other signs and symptoms that you might have cancer, but you may not. Stomach pain. Now, this is a real obvious one. Uh, because uh, the location of the stomach and the, and the stomach lining, stomach cancer is one of the most asymptomatic cancers. Therefore, it's kind of hard to detect. But according to American Cancer Society, only one in five cases are discovered before the disease has spread to other parts of the body. So if you start having stomach pain, the chances are very high that it's not cancer. Most likely with stomach pain, the stomach is pushing up into the diaphragm, and we need to physically adjust and pull the stomach away from the diaphragm. We want to check the nerves from the spine that go to the stomach or the colon or whatever organ we're talking about. And then we want to make sure we get the nutrition right. So when a patient comes in our office, we always think, okay, what's the plan to get this patient back to health? Not their insurance plan, their health plan. I don't care what your insurance plan is. That's my staff. They worry about the business end of it. We care about what's the health plan. How many visits is it going to take? Do we need to work on a stomach? Do we need to do attrition evaluation? Do we need to have to cut out foods, add foods, take supplements? So we put together a whole protocol for those patients. So usually when you have pain in the stomach or acid reflux or burping, we just need to adjust the stomach, do the spine, and fix the diet. There are some ways to spot stomach cancer before you even start to see symptoms. As a tumor grows, it can cause stomach pains in the abdomen just above your navel. Now, the stomach is up higher and to the left, but you'll have pain above the navel. 
if you experience a combination of these symptoms, heartburn, change in bowel functions, pain there, get checked by somebody. And if you want to come see us, we're happy to be your portal of entry. And if we can't get results, which is very rare, but if we can't get results doing chiropractic, adjusting the organs, getting you on your proper diet, then we say, you know what? We need to get this, uh, get a second opinion on this one. And so that's when we can refer you out. And we do that relatively quickly. We don't wait two, four years or something like that. Now, again, we're not perfect either. So most heartburn is caused by the stomach up against the diaphragm and what you eat or drink. Some cases can be symptomatic and the acid can get up into the throat and that can cause esophageal cancer. I had that happen with one of my coworkers, uh, Eddie Money, who's a fan of our show, uh, the musician. He had it. Um, so it's not uncommon to see esophageal cancer, but it's usually due to the stomach pushed up against the diaphragm, causing the acid to go into the esophagus. So if we get to that early, hopefully it never gets to that point. Now, I have zero statistics on people that we've treated that prevented esophageal cancer. Why? We prevented it. We have no way of knowing if they ever would have got it or not. And so I like to think that everyone we work on is, could be one of those statistics, that we saved a life. I've been in practice 37 years. Every time I walk into one of the clinics, my thought is, what kind of miracles are we going to see today? What kind of amazing things are going to happen for patients? How many patients have been given up as hopeless are now going to have hope? And it works 100% of the time. There's never been a day in all the years we've been in practice where somebody didn't get some amazing results. So it's kind of cool. So it's, I, got a, I got a fun job. So again, if the acid reflux continues, it could lead to esophageal cancer. About 10 to 15% of those with acid reflux develop something called Barrett's esophagus. And Barrett's esophagus is when you get scar tissue where the esophagus dumps into the stomach. There's a little hole where the two join. And those then can uh, progress into esophageal cancer. So Barrett's esophagus is not something you want to ignore. It's already the later stages of acid reflux. So if you have that, you might want to come see us right away to see if we can pull that stomach away from the diaphragm, maybe do things to break up some of that scar tissue, and hopefully get you on a healthy diet so the body is less susceptible to cancer growth. There's no cure, no guarantees, but in many cases, if we create an environment where the cancer doesn't like, it doesn't grow and spread, which is kind of fun. And that would be a plant-based diet. And research, tons of research out there showing that you reduce the risk of just about every cancer known to man by simply going to a plant-based diet. It's not hard, folks. It's really easy. If you don't know what to eat, go to our website, drjoe.com. And if, you need, if you're new at this, type in seven deadly sins of nutrition. That will give you a lecture that we did on what not to eat. The follow-up to that is, so what can I eat? Listen to that as well. I know we have new listeners all the time from all over the world, and so if you're new to the show, I'm trying to, I always try to remind people this is the basics. This is where you start, and if you're an old pro, you know what? You were a rookie once, too. You got introduced to this lifestyle at some point. You didn't know what you were doing, so just help out those folks. You know, It's kind of like a big fraternity here. We're all here to help each other and lift each other up, and that's what's so great about what we do. It's kind of fun. And if you want to become part of that group, just follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito because we post almost every day. And we have giveaways. We give away tickets. We give away all sorts of fun stuff, supplements. So, yes, I'm luring you to join because we have all sorts of giveaways that we do. And I'd love for you to follow us. Uh, but you're going to get so much information, including when we do live podcasts, when we do live events. Uh, we give away free tickets to our live events whenever we do one. So, it's always a good idea to follow us on social media, at Dr. Joe Esposito. That would be Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. Uh, we have a YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post every week new videos. So it's a lot of good information, and so far we haven't charged anybody for all that. We're trying to keep it free if we can. So along with that, if you have trouble swallowing, if something feels like getting caught in your throat, that can be an issue too. It kind of manifests as a feeling of something getting caught in your chest and the sensation of choking. It might start out mild, but eventually it could become a big issue, and eventually you can't even eat at all. If the swelling and if, if you get cancer in your esophagus, you can't even swallow food. So let's not get to that point. Stop, stop putting things off. Okay, I, I did this calculations one day, 26,960 days or something along, that, along those lines in the average life. Why not live every one to its fullest? Had my friend Brian call me the other day. He says, he says Joe, I'm getting really scared. 
I said, why? He goes, I'm 58. I'm realizing that there's an end to this, that I'm not immortal. Because when you're younger, you kind of blow it off. You don't think about it. And he says, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. So we got together, and uh, we had lunch, and we chatted. And I said, you know, Brian, I think that same thought too. But then I think, how am I going to live every day of my life from here on out to the fullest? And the only way to live that is if you're healthy. And so the one thing my team of doctors offer, which is kind of neat, is we offer health. Can't promise everybody results, but the re- our track record is unbelievable on how many people we've helped get well. And we'd love to help you get well, too. So drjoe.com if you want to make an appointment. So trouble swallowing, hoarseness in your voice, these are all issues that you want to get checked right away. Uh, what we're talking about today, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. We're talking about surprising signs of cancer. Unexplained weight loss. This is a biggie. 19 to 36% of unintentional weight loss is due to malignancy, most often found in patients with stomach, pancreatic, and esophageal cancer. But let me give you that statistic again. 19 to 36% of unintentional weight loss is cancer, which means up to 80% is not cancer. So don't freak out and think you have cancer just because you lost weight. It could be that you're stressed. It could be you changed your diet. It could be that uh, your metabolism changed. So don't freak out when you see these things. Same thing with unexplained weight gain. Doc, I'm doing everything right, and I'm gaining weight. I hear that every day. Weight gain, uh, which there's no apparent uh, cause, can be highly indicative of a serious issue. However, the older we get, the harder it is to lose weight. So what you do is you start to think to yourself, you know, Dr. Joe, I'm eating the same stuff I used to eat 10 years ago. Why am I gaining weight? What was the key word in there 10 years ago? Our bodies change. Our metabolism changes. Our shape of our body changes. Even if you look at old men and women that are in amazing shape, the shape is still different than somebody who's 20 years old. So that's okay. We made it this far. Good for us. That's awesome. Now, take care of yourself, of course. Be proud of your body. But do understand that things are going to change. And that's normal. It's not just average. It's normal. So don't freak out over that. But again, it's only 10 per, 20, up to 20%, up to 36%. But let's say 20% of weight loss is cancer. The other 80% isn't. Most stomach pain is due to the stomach pushed up against the diaphragm. It's not due to cancer. Most people that have neurological issues is due to pinched nerves. It's not due to cancer. But you want to get it checked. Just in case you got lucky or unlucky, whatever it is, and you hit that low percentage that it is an issue, the earlier we get to any health issue, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, digestive issues, nutritional issues, cancers, the better off we're going to be. So that's why we want to work together with you and your other doctors to get you well. Same thing with bloating, acid reflux, bloating, gas. um, All those can be signs of issues. But in most cases, by far, the stomach is up against the diaphragm. We pull the stomach back down. Then we got to give the body the nutrients that it needs to heal. So Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source are the minimum supplements you should take every day. Absolute minimum. They're two powders. They taste great. We have regular with rice protein. We have mint. And now we have hemp. The hemp is a different flavor. It's a little nuttier. It's a little uh, mellower. I like the hemp, uh, but we have it all out there. And so I, and this essential source is just one. I take a scoop of each. Uh, a couple of days ago, I had a really busy day, and then I had to do a radio show at night. And so I took a second dose later in the day. So you don't want to do second dose every day because it's a lot. You don't want to take too many supplements, but it was great. And then I had uh, nitric oxide for energy. Helps my brain function, increase sexual function because it opens up blood supply to your sex organs. Uh, I take that every day. I take B-complex. I take adrenal support. I take omega-3 fatty acids. If you knew what I knew, you would do what I do. I don't know if I came up with that or not. I'm not sure. But if you knew what I knew, you would do what I do. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing these things because we have all the information that I know On our website, drjoe.com, I share this stuff with you every week, multiple times a week, multiple different shows, and you just have to search the website for what you're looking for, Uh, just type in what you're looking for. Chances are we have a blog, we have an article, we have a radio show, we have a a video on it, and then if you still have questions, you can send me questions through the website, drjoe.com, and I'm more than happy to answer your questions for you. So we covered a lot today with signs and symptoms of what could be cancer, But again, don't freak out over it. Chances are it's not. But you want to get it fixed either way. So if you have a health issue, drjoe.com, you can make an appointment to come see us. We would love to be your doctors. In the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. 
do me a favor. In fact, you have to do this. This is in karma. You have to give and take, the yin and yang. I gave you a lot of information as I do every day. In return, I ask you to follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, because we post every day. And we want to get as many followers as we can so that we can get higher rankings in the, the, whatever it is, the, the bots that follow us. And we get the message out to more people. So I'm happy to share this information with you. You need to do me a favor and follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito. If you're a podcast junkie, go to your podcast service, type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it. Again, our website, drjoe.com. Bam. Still got information I didn't cover. Any questions now? We have some questions here. Okay. That's a relevant question. Uh, adenoids have been swollen for about five days. White spots on tonsils and uvula hurts to swallow. Am I going to die? No, you're not going to die. You probably have tonsillitis. Um, you have to give up all wheat and all dairy products right now immediately. Um, the tonsils are lymph glands. We talked about lymph glands getting swollen. Um, so chances are it's just tonsillitis. It's an infection. Uh, you got to build up your immune system. So go to our website, listen to the show we did on immunity. Just type in immunity. Uh, Supplement-wise, super greens, essential source, vitamin D. Uh, nitric oxide might help with circulation, not for the immune system so much. Probiotics. And that's going to be the immune protocol. So super greens, essential source, vitamin D, probiotics, and glutathione for the liver. Uh, it sucks. I hate sore throats. But... Slippery Elm tea, it's called throat code or throat treatment or whatever. Slippery Elm is what the tea is made out of. Uh, very good to constantly drink that uh, and build up that immune system. But stay away from wheat, dairy, stay away from all seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, because that's just blowing out your immune system. And then super green essential source, nitric oxide, probiotics, uh, glutathione. Um, yeah, I, this is probably manageable. I don't think you're going to die from this one. Sorry. Going to be around for a while. What else? All right, something else. Health consequences. Are there any health consequences to the silicon dioxide added in bottled spices? Probably not. Uh, it, it's pretty much inert. It kind of passes right through you. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it that much. It's just an anti-caking agent. If you get your spices in bulk, many times there is no silicon dioxide. Uh, organic, I don't think, would have silicon dioxide. I'm not sure about that, but I don't think they have it either. So just get all organic anyway. That should solve the problem. I like buying in bulk. I do, too. That's Spr the one you... thing I love about Sprouts. Sprouts, I know. they got the little bulk section. Take as much as you want. Yeah, I love Sprouts. Sprouts is my new hangout. After Life Grocery closed, that's my new hangout. What else? I do not. Oh, oh here comes something. Let me read this real quick. Go ahead. Uh, any help for FSGS kidney disease? Kidney function is 27%. Yes. If you listened to our show last Sunday night, we talked to Connie who had kidney function of 32, 32%. And as you know, the doctors have no hope for her or you. And now she's back up to 50%. And she's crying. She's so excited. It's really cool. So um, why don't you send me an email on this, and I'll send you the protocol I used for Connie. Uh, Dr. Joe at drjoe.com. Dr. Joe at drjoe.com. Because it's, there's several different supplements and protocols. But again, staying away from the seven deadly sins. But the supplement protocol is special for kidney. So Dr. Joe at drjoe.com. I'll get back to you. And if you want to listen to that, it'll be on our SoundCloud later today. And if you subscribe to our newsletter, you'll get a link to that as well on Wednesday. So sign up for our newsletter. It's real simple. It's on the website, and then you'll get these links, and you get all these shows for free. So that show specifically. What else? Uh, that looks like it for now. Okay, good. All right, folks, I appreciate you being here as always. Please, uh, again, if you're listening to this live, of course, you typed in hashtag live. If, if you listen to it on a replay, type in hashtag replay. And any questions, drjoe.com. But most importantly, just make an appointment to come see us. And I hope to see all of you very soon.